विंडोज एट विंडोज एट वेट पॉइंट वन वट द Hello and welcome to the video production. I'm Hafiz and today I'll be fixing Carmageddon 2 Car Apocalypse now on Windows 8.1 or even 7 or Vista if you have it on a 64-bit OS. Okay, so let's get straight to the point. Pop in the disk to your CD-ROM drive and browse through the folder and look for setup.exe okay just run that as per normal like you would back before in those days where games are so solid on the pc whereas nowadays you have to do a lot of work around but that's not a problem here so just click on next and let the installation default on the you know install on the default directory so while it's installing let me explain a little bit of things that i uncovered so far running old games on windows 8 when an old game supports a software renderer and hardware renderer that includes D3D and DirectDraw both, they will have low FPS because of DWM.exe that is embedded in Windows 8 themselves, okay? Especially when the game says this too, you are most likely able to run the game only in software renderer for better performance because when you run in D3D, you will have a low FPS, like 25 frames. I measured with fraps. So anyway, after the installation, you're going to click on no for the quick time and no for the direct X, okay? And uncheck this, the readme and click on finish. And that's it. You can now play the game. Serious? Nah, I'm just kidding, of course. Okay, so what you need to do next after the installation is actually to click on the link below the description. If you cannot see it, click on the show more. Now, can you see it? Yeah, okay. So when you click on the link, it will lead you to this Google Drive page. This is my Google Drive that I'm going to share with you guys. And it will have this, um, it will have this karma to fix. .rar. Okay, you will see a lot of files over here. Don't worry, just ignore that. Click on file and download. Once the download is finished, you're going to receive this file. That's right, books.rar. Okay, it's rar. So you just open that up and it is gonna be a couple of files. Extract that out to anywhere around your desktop or your C drive, wherever. And the first thing that you need to do is actually to open up the Karma Get into Fix folder and copy all the contents in there and go back to your installation folder and paste it there. It's that simple, right? So replace all these files and do this for all the current items. Once that is done, you just need to click on the second file, which is an end glide. I'm sure you guys know what this is. It's a 3DFX wrapper and click on install. And once the installation is done, close that. So now you're going to launch Karma to 3DFX glide, but don't launch from the launcher. Okay. So you're just going to like cancel this just to ensure you know if everything is there but you're not gonna run the direct 3d because you're gonna get low fps on windows 8 for windows 7 is fine i've tested it before but for windows 8 uh uh no just select 3d fx glide and if you don't have sound in the game that's because you are running the game from here so for instance if you're running on hardware and it's still running on direct 3d okay what you can do is actually to launch the launcher okay th this thing and then always use these options in the future click launch when you are in the game there won't be any sound just exit back to desktop and then you click on karma to hw and that's it and we are now gonna look at the game on how it's running on 3d fx okay so once you see the 3d fx logo on your screen means your glide wrapper is installed properly successfully okay the next step you're going to be looking at is actually the intro video but of course you know that sci video is enough to know that the video is working properly and next thing is the mouse is okay yeah but the only problem i'm having on both windows 7 and windows 8 is that the music is not playing despite having the disc inside and i try to mount it with alcohol i know daemon tools and stuff is still not getting any music so i'm not really sure why but when i try to play it on my windows 98 computer of course i'll get the music but of course you know during the um skipping and changing of tracks there's gonna be a lot of skipping which is not really good the way the um game is made so anyway the game is running at uh 1024 times 768 because i like to keep it in a sense of having the original aspect ratio of the game but because I'm playing on a bigger TV, so that's why I push the resolution a little bit further than 640 by 480. So here I'm trying to split my count to two, but you know, I'm not getting up enough need for speed to do that. So I'm just wasting time. So that's it. Uh, we're gonna go back to Windows now and I'll show you a little bit, few more 
steps so there you have it guys if you don't know on how to um, do the settings for the 3d effects you can simply go to your end glide where you install and select a screen resolution to your preferred or desktop resolution whichever resol resolution that you prefer and then click on apply for me personally i like to go with a 4 to 3 resolution since the game is done that way and click on apply and you can simply play your carmageddon 2 once again so thank you for checking out leafy productions windows 8 huh. i don't know what to say lah.